All right, my man, state your name and let them know you on Real Talk with Nick. What's going on? This is a Saw LB coming straight out of Staten Island. Real talking about the Knicks right now. All right, and you on Real Talk with Nick. My man from the Wu Land. Already know. Oh, Throw shit. Throw it up, Shaolin what? All right, all right, all right. I hear that fly shit. But now we're going to talk about some New York shit. All right? Some Knicks shit. Not the Nets, the Knicks. Oh, say it again, Not man. Not the Nets, the Knicks. Damn. The team that belongs here. All right, all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? Not y'all Christopher Columbus fans <laughs> looking to discover shit that already been here. You know what I'm saying? fans, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You Kyrie Irving-less fans out here. But yeah. let's get into it, man. New York Knicks, what's your input concerning this team, man? Do you like where we at? They're better than last year. Brunson... I had doubts as a free agent signing. I thought they overpaid, but he's come through. He's a real point guard. He's setting people up. He's... So he shut you up as well? Yeah, yeah, he did. Because okay. I knew he had talent. I knew he had skill. I didn't think he was be a, he'd be a starting point guard. I didn't think he had this, this, this much of an impact. And he has. He's changed the game for the team, and he's making sure people take the right shots most of the time. It's not all of the time because he's not on the court all the time. Okay. Okay, and as far as Jalen Brunson goes, man, do you think he got snubbed when we speak of yeah. that of the All-Star? Hell yeah, he got snubbed. I think he's more of an All-Star than Julius Randle. Julius Randle is an All-Star because of Jalen Brunson. You know what I mean? He needed a point guard to set him up and tell him when to take the shot, where to take the shot, you know? Okay. He got good numbers, though. Julius Randle does have good numbers, but I think Brunson impacts the game more than Randle. Okay, okay. And speaking of Julius Randle, man, since he's been with the Knicks organization. Up and down. He's been up and down. Man. Because, you know, he, he takes shots out of position. He's a power forward, a four. You know, I like the traditional way, stay close to the paint, but he likes to handle the ball, likes to shoot at the top of the key. But who's going to get the offensive rebounds? Okay. I'm going to ask you, like I asked everyone else I interviewed, is he hurting players' games on the roster like RJ and Obi? RJ is supposed to be way better than what he is. Why Obi, is it? R, why, I'm not sure because maybe it's the Canadian thing. I'm not sure, but he, he does just he doesn't look fluid enough for me to be like a guard. Or Could a it be player. that he's ball dominant like Julius Randle? Who was not ball dominant in the NBA this, <laughs> this season? But Ben Simmons. I don't think uh, RJ is that ball dominant. I just think he needs shots in his position. This thing he needs, the Knicks in particular, just need more easier shots in the paint. Like, it's too many threes for me. Obi, I think that's a Tibbs thing. I'm hearing that, you know, he's probably not practicing as hard as Tibbs might want, but that's a Tibbs thing because Obi need to be on the court. Okay, okay. Now piggyback on, on RJ. I know this summer that just passed, we heard the trade talks, mm-hmm. those speculations that we might get Dominic Mitchell and give up RJ Barrett for him. I wish that would have happened. <laughs> Talk about it. I wish that would have happened. Talk about it, man. Donovan Mitchell is a supreme town of NBA that they're not promoting. I don't know why. Dude just put up like 71 points a couple weeks ago. He is a baller. You know what I mean? He can do everything on the court. That's somebody that we need, but he probably wouldn't fit with Brunson because they both ball dominant. Okay, okay. He's staying in Cleveland. Though. All right. So you feel that RJ Barrett reached the ceiling, man? You don't think there's more growth? Let me speak to RJ, he's man. He's only work. 22 years old. He's going to have to work. I don't see – I don't know what's the problem with him. It's probably mental. It has to be mental because the dude's in shape. He has the talent to make baskets. It's just not consistent with his shot. Maybe he's not calling – maybe Tibbs not calling the right plays for him or something. Maybe he needs pin downs or a post up. I don't know what it is with this guy. It's probably all mental. I think it's all mental. I think it's all mental. If Julius Randle wasn't on the Knicks – and it was R.J. Barrett and Jalen Brunson having the Batman and Robin duo. Would R.J. Barrett be an all-star? Would we be saying that R.J. Barrett is an all-star this year? I don't know, but I know Brunson would definitely be an all-star. I know that for sure. Because Brunson, he got snubbed like a motherfucker. You know what I mean, Randall got the numbers, but Brunson is the impact. And Brunson, I think, would pick up R.J. In my, my belief, I think Brunson would definitely pick up RG. Like, he picked up Tim Hardaway in Dallas. Like, he picked up that whole bench, Spencer Dinwiddie and all of them. Okay. 
Okay. Once you got top. All right, now I want to talk about coaching, man. Is Tom Dibito the man? This dude, he is the player killer. He's known for wearing people out. Ask your man, uh, Derrick Rose. He can't even get off the bench because my man Tibbs are random, wore his ass out in Chicago and Minnesota. He's known for doing this to players. Joe Kim, no, he ran him to the ground. He's known for running people into the ground with his short rotations, killer practices. He's like a crazy psycho Pat Riley reincarnated. If the people remember them days. Okay. So, do you think that uh, Derrick Rose, I mean, Jalen Brunson, would eventually be run to the to the ground? Nah, because he got, he, got he got a good father. His father was in the NBA, former professional. I'm sure he's telling him what to do and how to, how to prepare for the season. And Brunson, he look like he built like a pit bull. He can take it. You know what I mean? He can take it. Yeah, he's strong. All right. All right. And, and when we speak of the center position, Mitchell Robinson. He, he's... He's a blessing. Let's is he a he blessing? Can, let's, he could, let's hope he can stay healthy. You know, as long as he can stay healthy. I was about to ask you, do you think he's becoming injury prone? I think he's dealing with that extra weight he just put on him. So he probably don't know how to move around with all that. But we'll see. Like, just give him some time. You know, he's young. I don't think he played high school ball like that. Okay. He's a late bloomer. He's a late bloomer. Yeah. All right. All right, he's a late bloomer, man. And his backup, let's speak of the backup presenter with. Oh, uh, Jericho? No, Hardestein. Hartens, oh, I like Hartenstein. I like him more than Sims. Like, yeah. Yeah? What fucks with Hartenstein. Like, he's rugged, he gets rebounds. And what you like about him more than um, Jericho Sims? If he was to compare they two. He's more experienced than I think. Like, he's know, he knows how to play the defense without fouling. So he knows how to box people out and grab offensive rebounds and defensive rebounds. Stays out of foul trouble. Jericho. Leans on you, hands everywhere. You know, he's still learning. He's a young kid. Okay. All right. And my man, McBride. Some say he's the most defensive player on the Knicks. I'm not even sure who that is. Deuce McBride. Deuce McBride. Number two. I need some more information for I even, Woo. For I even make my, my judgments. Woo. You don't know who Deuce McBride is, man? Nah. Lost on Deuce McBride. Okay, man. We got to move on from Deuce, man. Yeah. Deuce. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs> Quentin Grimes, man. Quentin, he's, he's a speedy point guard. Takes a lot of quick shots, which I don't really appreciate. Uh, I'm not into that quick shot offense. I'm more yeah. of a setup, like, let's get the right shot. Like, that's feeding off of the Julius Randle thing, you know? Quick shots at the top of the key. Who's going to get the rebound? Who's going to get back on defense? But he is, he's talented. Definitely talented. I like his quickness. I like his speed. You like his speed? That's his shot selection. It's a he's, shot selection. He's more work. He's more work. All right, my man. Listen, I want to thank you for coming on Real Talk with Nick. You know what I'm saying? When my man breaks it down, we talking about Nick basketball, man. But before we go, how far you see these Knicks going? Second round, hopefully. Second round, hopefully. All right. Anything past the second round is is a is is a threat, right? <laughs> it's a toss up, right? Now. And that's what it is. We out. Peace. Peace.